Hey guys, so we're here playing Amazing Cultivation Simulator and in this series I show you guys how I beat the dragon early on the highest difficulty while also having a little bit of fun with it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I want to thank you for watching. Alright guys, so I'm starting a new game and this is my current setup. I want to kill dragon early so I'm just going to try to make a really big formation. I want to use six cultivators and I want to study sunflower refining law, which is the earth one, not true sun. So I have this set up right now where I have four casts with pretty good law match with the earth law. And that's pretty much it. I tried to make sure that some of them have even stats for mandate, but I think I'm going to end up having to take by force. The plan is to rush to Primordial Spirit and then get the other laws as well as get some cages. So I have Good Samaritan which gives me plus one disciple because I want four, the more the merrier. And then I have Elixir Relics which will give me enough materials to make these guys cultivators. So I'm ready to hop into this game. I really hope that the environment that I chose is correct because I do not remember if I did it right or not. Okay, so first off, I see that I have a turtle. Ah, oh, that sucks. Then I have two rabbits and a turtle. This is gonna be really bad for me in terms of me trying to build things as outer, for my outer disciples, or just for my disciples in general. Let's say the turtle can build, but he's pretty useless at the same time. Either way, the show goes on. Let's do this Amber Fruit work schedule. And then just assign everyone their relevant work. I definitely do not want a turtle that's a healer. <laughs> They're gonna be like, doctor, doctor, help me out. Nope. Taking way too long to get there. So I pretty much don't even have a farmer. These guys are all rabbits and they can't even farm. Also do not have a miner, which is depressing. But that's okay. It sucks when you start off with like so many cats and you're like, ah, I want to use these guys or something, but you just can't. I would rather use them for cultivation so I'll just make this turtle a builder and then I'll make this guy a logger and then this guy is gonna be a peon and that's I have three disciples basically but that's all you really need right a builder a logger and a peon all right all right someone can someone give me a high five on that one no okay all right so I'm figuring, I'm trying to figure out, do I want to use a farming pill or no? No, I'm ready to bring these guys up. To cultivate the sunflower refining law. Okay, this map isn't bad. I think I'll build my base like around here because then they could easily get to this. I don't want my base to be in the center because I want to fight dragon and dragon like messes up everything and I feel like when I do the dragon fight he's always in the center of the map. So I'm thinking if my base is like even hair would be nice. Besides the fact there's no room for a storage area, but there's a tree right here. So I don't know. I don't necessarily need the ginkgo tree. So I'll start off by moving my storage area over here. Well, I don't have a storage area yet. So I should start off by promoting these guys.
And then I'll have someone be a logger. Sit to GN. Wow, your movement speed is so beautiful. I might actually have to restart this game because look at these stats on these guys. Okay, this guy is dead. That's nice. You can equip this. And then, yeah. I need to mark down these trees that I want to chop down. It's a good thing that I only need like 12 spirit wood or. Hmm. I need more than 12. It's, I only need a. I don't need too much though. Wow, all of the beasts are here as well. That's interesting. Okay. So I want to start off by chopping and collecting all of the spear wood that I can. Or being a logger. And I also want to get amber fruit. Oh, this is a nice spot too. Compared to that spot because that's like too much in the center. But this is like perfect. Yeah, it has two ginkgo trees. Okay. I'm going to start my sect off here. I start opening boxes because I want to get some fabric. Of course, my guys will need some weapons as well. This is why I play on Ancient Battlefield because they always have so many good items. So much good loot. Oops. You're not a spare wood tree. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to try to kill you. I'm sorry, we can still be friends. Raise your hand and turn blue if you want to get chopped down. Okay. Okay, okay, I'll chop you guys down. Thanks for your participation. Okay, I also want amber fruit. So I'm going to harvest this. And then, so everything looks great. Now, let's establish a sect. Mm. Dragon Slayer, I guess. I don't really like that name though. I like Thorn. I kind of just named my stuff over like Tower God, so. Mm. So then I want to draw these Agility Talismans. I have three Disciples, and so I only need to make three. I wish the Turtle could have way more than three. But besides that, I have four Cultivators, and I need two more, so I need a bear that will have heaven ceiling and then I need a tiger that will have the metal law depending on whichever one that I have but I also need to draw four story talismans to get these guys through to the breakthrough but actually let me first double check that no six are selling anything interesting so I start off by having my storage area built out like around here. There's nothing super interesting, so let me start sweeping. I made a blueprint of tic tac toe so that I don't have to manually do it anymore. This is going to be my storage area. Oops, I guess I have to manually do it. But yeah, Tic Tac Toe will clear out everything. So yeah, we are sweeping up this environment, making it look pretty, so that it could be a nice, pretty, clean storage area. I also don't like trees peeking up and covering up items. So this is nice. Definitely want to start the game with a big storage area. 
because I usually have a small one. Okay, so everything besides fire. I like to put my fire area around the canyon, my fire items around the canyon area. So I'm going to actually give this some room and then create this fire base storage area over here. Okay, that's all ignite copper ore. Yeah, so if there's some distance, then it should be fine. So that's fire. And then I want my trade area to be like here, I guess. Now, there's some room down here that I also want to use. All right, so this looks good. And then after these boxes are open, I'm also going to sweep up this area as well. So I have my trade area, storage area. I also need to see what these sex really like. Okay, maybe I'll trade water for it. <laughs> hey, sir, would you like some water? I think you want some medicine. Yeah, let's do medicine. Looking at these sect favorites. Also, I want to do this with like a very minimal stilling and no roasting. So it's going to be kind of hard, but whatever. Hey sir, would you like some medicine? Hey sir, would you like some water? Hey sir, would you like some medicine? Nice, 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 you're welcome. Hey sir, I'm sorry, you're my friend and I always forget about you, you're always last. <sighs> See, that goes to show you, when people are nice to you, you don't care about them. We wanna please these sex, but who who invites Wu Dang first? I mean, who gives Wu Dang a gift first? They're supposed to be my friends. I should be gifting them first and I feel sad about it. The fact that I did not. Okay. They have some items. Red ginseng. I don't really care about any of these items. Cinnabar. Whatever. That's pretty good. Spare wood timber. Okay. Interesting. More ginseng, a nimbus plate. Now this is something that I would want. Purple Cloud Temple has a nimbus plate. I must remember that. Blood Talisman, that's This is the jackpot. This is exactly what I needed. I'll need four of these for story talismans. But, um, these cats seem like they're going to be struggling to do anything. So I kind of just got to get that ray build up. Okay, so I have, oh, who's drawing the story talisman? I don't even know. I forgot which one I assigned to do the story talisman. Maybe this one. Let's see. What talismans are created? Agility, yes. Okay, so you don't need to draw any story talismans, my guy. We just need agility talismans. And then let's delete the storage area, of course. Oh wow, there's so much spirit wood here that I missed. 
Chopping down trees, chopping down trees, chopping down trees. Ideally, I would get the Primordial Spirit around like day 20. That's That would be the goal, but never happens that way. Sadly. I have a nice tree though. Yay. I really want a fabric. Okay guys, let's get quicker. I can't just start off cultivating so I need because I need to get the stone essence from Mount Baron so I'm gonna work on that alternatively I could get something from here but I'm trying not to steal so much so let's see what that looks like we want the numbers plate but I think more importantly we want the blood talismans. I want sits because I will want two story talismans. I mean four story talismans for each person and then I want a spiritual traveling and departing shadow fate talisman so that I can travel around and stuff. I don't have nearly enough money for this. Okay so I think I'll just get two for now. That costs 80. These guys are expensive. So I pretty much need the spirit wood. So I have five spirit wood. Okay. I start trading this. One, two, three, four. One, two. Wow, that's gonna be forty. Why are you so expensive? Ah, stop bullying me, I'm the poor. Yeah, these are not worth it right now because I just don't have that much spirit with so I'm gonna move forward with creating the fake talismans and making them regular. Spirit of traveling. I definitely do want to buy those blood talismans once I chop enough wood. Yes. And then I need you to draw a departing shadow. Nice, this is my first time in a while that I've actually like found it instantly. Oh this is this is art. No, this is bad art. Why am I so bad? Uh I'm so bad. Alright, so I would like my workstations to be kind of like close to the storage area. So, what if I remove storage, right? I just make room for my workstations in between. It's like a river. That's cute, right? Because then they could just go left and right and pick up items. 
and move them, etc. So I just want the timber station for now, and I would really, really, really love some gold wood timber. <gasps> so this is something that's worth it for me to trade some weapons for. I think I just need maybe four. Trade my whole life savings away. Now the game shall continue. So now I have to see who has the best adventure fly speed. Put all of these people on spirit stone default. I want them to be on mine while we wait for things to be built out. And then besides that, whoever has the best adventure fly speed can go to the I guess whatever the furthest location is. 1.22, so this one to be like a day. So this one has the worst adventure fly speed, so maybe I'll switch it up to make it so that they all have like, they'll come back at the same time around. <coughs> Which one was that? Mao Bao Kiel. All right, we're not doing this. We are not doing this. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't. I don't. <sighs> That's so much easier. So much more simple. Okay, so I need someone to go here to get some cool items. The cotton and the stone essence is what I want. And then I want someone to go here to unlock the ruins of Taiyi. And then I guess I could get some food from here just to simplify the process. I don't really want to kill any beasts. And then, I don't know, there's just some items here that I always wait too long to get, get. So I might as well just utilize everyone. That's what I'm thinking about. Go. Be free. Adventure. Don't complain about not having runes. Okay, so obviously I need a farmer. Um, I'll just do... I'll just make this guy a farmer for now. So that we can get some stuff going. Oh wow, this guy's farming speed is so slow. Okay, eat this amber fruit. Oh wow. I forgot I have a turtle. That's so depressing. Let me see, did I get all of these? Nope. Did I get any fabric though? That's the That's the main thing that I need. And then you guys can equip this. I really wish I didn't have a turtle because that would make that just overcomplicates like so many things or make so many processes so much slower. Where especially when I have four inner disciples and like no outer disciples. I can fit two more outer disciples, so hopefully two guys come and they're not like trash. Alright, so now let's make you the peon. 
I don't want you doing anything besides peon and crafting. All right, that concludes this part of this series in Amazing Cultivation Simulator where I show you guys how to beat the dragon early. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. Feel free to comment any tutorial ideas that you may want or any questions that you may have. And again, thank you for watching. I'll see you the next time.